Okay, yesterday with the word problems, we talked about how to break it down into identifying if it has a coefficient, identifying what the variable is, if it has a constant, and what you're setting the problem equal to. So we notice that the coefficient has those key terms per each and every. We know that a constant is typically a one-time cost or a one-time value, a one-time fee. Your variable is usually attached along with the coefficient with that per each and every. Um, and the equals, what it's set equal to is the amount that you're trying to achieve or the goal that you have set in mind or how much you are going to, you know, spend or use, okay? So we did problems one and we did problem two. Let's go ahead and go down to problem three. Problem three, it says Paolo has $145 in his savings account. He earns $36 a week mowing lawns. If Paolo saves all of his earnings, how many weeks will he have $433 saved? Okay, so what is the goal in mind? Let's start with that. What's the goal in mind that we're trying to achieve? $433. This is what we are trying to equal. Okay, so this is what we want our equation to be set equal to. So it is supposed to be equals 433. So now we got to figure out how we're going to get there. So we have two other amounts. We have $145 in his savings account, and we have $36 a week mowing lawns. So since we have two amounts, one of those is probably going to be a coefficient. Which one of them is going to be a coefficient? 36, right? 36 a week is another way we could say $36 per week or $36 each week or $36 every week, right? We could say per week here. So $36 a week, that's going to be our coefficient. So our coefficient is going to be the 36. Again, each week. So our variable is going to be weeks or W because we want to know how many, right? The question's even asking us how many weeks. So that's what we're looking for. That's what's the unknown. That's the W. Okay, and then $145, that's in his savings account. That's what he's starting with, right? That's already what he has. So that's going to be our constant. This is a one-time value that he already has, that $145. So now we just set up the equation. He starts with $145 in the account. This is what he's starting with. Every week he's going to add on another $36 for an unknown amount of weeks until he can get to $433 saved. That's your equation. Starts with $145, he's going to continue to save $36 every single week until he gets to his goal of $433. I want you guys to try problem number four on your own. See if you can figure out how to set up the equation here.